Hello, welcome back. Today I will be reviewing the Resident Nations updates. So right off the bat, you can see the recommended countries, which are just the top 10 countries after superpowers. Well, it's kind of glitched right now, but hey, don't worry about it. The next is the color changes. So, so any country that had a similar color to another is now changed. This includes things such as Sudan, Qatar, uh, Venezuela, Iceland, Portugal, and Bangladesh. And there's all I, I think there's a couple more, but the next thing Hyper added was some music to the game. I like music is still the default music, but it, it'll come there eventually. It also changes depending on where you're at war, you're at peace, and when you're country is doing pretty bad, such as instability was. And there are also square cities to represent countries with over a million population. Next thing we have is the Russian Cold War skin, so sure you can buy a game pass, but you can also get it for free by performing the Soviet Union in a public server. It's actually not that hard, it's actually pretty good. And next are the titles. They require a certain amount of XP or a certain formable to be formed. So, if, if you have a million XP, you can get the Conqueror. You can see the requirements when, when you hover over Select. So, I've formed the Mongol Empire. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now it should appear like that. There's also an update to the formal list which shows uncompleted, completed, and all formals. Let's head into the country tab. As you can see, the Russian, the Russian Empire has been added to Russia. It also is color-coded. So no is red and yes is green, of course. Also, formals are now made exclusive, so if, if you have formed Soviet Union, you can't form the Russian Empire. If you're the Russian Empire, you can't form the Soviet Union. Let's go ahead and head down to these three. It's also color-coded. Green meaning is going up, red is going down, and then yellow is just stagnant. Two new policies have been added. Um, the Anti-Corruption Act, which reduces corruption while also taking a, a significant chunk of your tax income. And encouraging development, which also uses your tax money, but it increases the chance of good events, but more on that later. Let's go ahead and go into economy. If you can see the city overview, it shows you all of your cities. You can select it. City name, population, tier, manpower gain, and tax income. You can also sort these, so if I wanted to sort it by manpower gain, it would go from the bottom up. You can also select certain cities, so if I wanted to select uh, this city, you can select it, it's right over here, you can do anything you want with it, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the technology tab, so the starting bonus for research points has increased by 500 points, which is actually pretty good. That's basically about it for a technology tab, let's go ahead and go for the military tab. So. This shows you your unit type amount and upkeep. So this is just the military view in general. Ongoing wars. It just shows you your ongoing war. So for example, if I go ahead and declare a war on Belarus. And we're at war with Belarus. And then we go into ongoing war. You can see the Russian Belarusian annexation war. So this, this is what it would look like. Next one is biomes. So jungle, it reduces unit speed, but also provides some defense. Arid, it kind of slows units down, but it causes like really heavy attrition. Well, the Arctic does it simultaneously. It reduces unit speed a lot, and it causes like extremely heavy attrition. So anyways, next are climates. So these winters, when you click on biomes, these winters are 
They're just milder and moderate versions of the Arctic. Basically do the same thing, it's just less. They, they usually form, the mild winter usually forms up in the north at around, in, around November, and it peaks in December, and then it dissipates in February, and then it, it finally dissipates in March. So before we go into events, the pop-up GUI got a retouch to make it more appealing. There are now things called events with a brand new system of pop-ups. They are influenced by the condition your country is in. That means the better off your country, the more positive events you will get and vice versa. Some are pretty much harmless, but some you gotta be like extremely careful on what kind of decisions you make. Some events have national modifiers. So if I accept their demands, I will now get a national modifier, which which might be temporary or might be permanent. So th this modifier, you know, modifies your country, it buffs or debuffs it. In this case, my country got debuffed, which is not, not very good. That's, that's basically it for events. Also, VIP servers can disable events. So I have events enabled right here. If I did one event, I can just disable it. Also, there's a certain feature that's called an oil deficit. An oil deficit notification will be placed if you're losing more oil than you're gaining it. So that will that will prevent a lot of unexpected oil shortages. In the unit builder, you can now directly assign to group instead of just manually doing it. So if I want to assign to the epic gamering group, you can just spawn the infantry and then it will automatically be there. So it will automatically have the group with it. When you click on your, uh, when you click on your new unit, you have a couple of options. So unit numbers, which just shows if in a selection, it shows all your unit composition. Reinforcements, it reinforcements makes when you have available manpower, it will use all my manpower to rebuild the force. So if we if we want to preserve your manpower, you can turn this off. When in war, you can review the remaining cities of any country involved in the war. I want to see Belarus the cities. It will show you all the cities. This would be very useful. They also replaced the German Reich with the German Empire. So it's going to need a lot more overseas territories instead of just getting Austria and Czech and then you're done. They also removed the Trio Java vulnerable. And then the Filipino Empire vulnerable. So yeah, that's that's actually pretty much it. Uh, that's I'm very excited for the new updates to come. Thanks, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you I'll see you later.